Welcome everyone, it is Monday the 1st of October 2018, I'm the Diligent Rascal, at a Diligent Rascal on Twitter, add me on there, please ladies and gents, and this is what we're talking about, ladies and gents, nice little segue, could even be on fucking TV, um, ladies and gentlemen, what is it to be a lady or a gentleman, can we say man or woman anymore, what the fuck is going on? These are the questions we're going to ask today because, to be honest with you, um, I've pretty much had enough now. Um, what I'm seeing in um, on the news and in the media um, to do with um, transgender people, to do with self-identification to deal to, to what I'm seeing to do with feminists being called trans exclusionary when they try and say that a woman has a womb uh, and things like this so we're, we're, we're stepping into the fucking madness and I know recently I've been starting with a tune I've been starting with a little with a little track to set this off, and I had a track set up for this one, but I'm not going to play it. Well, I'll tell you what the tra track is. is that The reason why I didn't play it is because I played a Capleton tune at the beginning of my last video, and it's another Capleton tune, and it's a tune called Gimme the Woman. Woman make me happy and me joyful, you know what I mean? And he's talking about, obviously, being heterosexual, um, but this transgender uh, issue also... Uh, encompasses homosexual people as well because you've got trans activists attacking lesbians um, and saying that having the sexual preference of women means that they are they have like a vagina fetish yeah there's some fucked up shit going on people some fucked up shit going on and there are some there are some women that need our help and this is why I'm doing this video because I've actually had enough um, the there's been a couple of videos that have done it for me recently that I've seen on TV a couple of interviews and, and things like that I'm going to show a couple of them on here um, but one of them was this woman and my, my missus showed it to me and it was it was the woman from the girl guides talking about them having transgender girls i.e. boys staying with the girls and not telling the parents that these children are actually boys transgender boys that wanted to be girls um, and not telling the parents and people saying look this is a safeguarding issue um, you know and then people getting offensive saying oh, are you saying that these trans women i.e. men are sexual predators and things like that and this is the theme that keeps coming up when when women's safeguarding is brought into question, when we're, when people are questioning it, then they're being attacked and saying, oh, you're saying trans people are sexual predators. No, they're not saying that, but they're saying these places are all women's spaces. All women's spaces. And if you have a penis, you're not a woman. So therefore, these women feel threatened, you know, that it is no longer an all woman space. So... This video is going to be, I'm going to try and not keep it as long as it could be, um, but there's a lot that needs to be shown because the, the problem is, alright, if you just look at this on the, on, the, on the level, if you just look at what the TV is showing you, for instance, okay, it has a certain narrative and a certain thing that is pushing and it's this trans inclusionary thing where this self determination self identification thing is now you know we were, I was seeing it was getting some traction but there's a lot of pushback to it and there's a lot of common sense thinking that gets done when people point out genuine issues with it um, and like I say I've seen today I will show you the tweet as well and this is another thing that just pushed me to do this video um, people like um, you know, basically, my missus showed me the 
girl guides thing on the the interview on on the TV. So I looked at that, and I, this is something that I've been this is something that I've been thinking about for years now because the whole thing of people saying being able to determine themselves how they feel and therefore that is how we have to treat them in society and it's just a, a bit mad because this is the only thing that we do it with if you know Rachel Deleese all come forward and said that she was a black woman and she was lambasted for it but really she was doing work for the black community and if anything she she was pushing black rights and helping um, civil rights and stuff like that so if anyone had felt the struggle like she'd felt it, then she has felt it, mate. You know what I mean? If anyone was going to say, look, I feel like part of the black community, then she actually could have said it, maybe. You know what I mean? But she, anyway, she was lambasted for that. You know, it's the only... Being transgender is the only thing in society that we say that people feel like a certain way. We have to play into their internal delusions about that. You know, if someone turned around and said, right, I feel like I'm German today, or... You know anything else like that but the, the thing is as well we've got these things where you've got these these different genders you know where people think they're fairy folk and stuff like that and this is you know it's just ridiculous um so this is what we're talking about we're talking about what it is to be a woman the transgender activism that's going on the the term turf um, we're going to talk about the individuals that are doing this kind of shit and um, the fact that feminists are being sucked into this without really thinking about the ridiculousness of it when we're talking about all female spaces when we want you know when you have all women for example and all women swim night you know when all women are swimming in the pool are we letting these self-determining women who are men with penises into the swimming pool how do these women feel about that these trans activists don't give a fuck how these women feel about that. And this is the fucking problem. These men don't give a shit about how these women feel. And and, and this is the, the ongoing thing that's happening at the minute. And there's some bits of logic coming through. Um, I actually saw them on Sky discussing... Um, I'm going to show a, a bit of a Sky interview with Posey Parker and this fucking guy in Liverpool where they're talking about the poster. But... I saw another one today where they were talking about it and they're, they're, they're talking about the newspapers and stuff like that and both the panellists are saying, look, this is ridiculous when someone is getting offended um, at the definition of women. You know, that, that is, we're, we're living in ridiculous times, people, all right? Um, so let's just crack on with this video because there's a lot to go through. I've got a lot of tabs on the top there to show you. And this is what we're talking about today trans activism the erasure of women um and the transgender madness that is going on right now and people we need to think yeah we need to think about what's going on all right and we need to to see what is going on okay don't close your eyes to it and what we're talking about is this okay these are the times we're living in all right it's 2018 this lady Kelly has put, um, aka Posey Parker, the group she's with have put this poster up. Now, as you can see, the poster just says, woman, woman, noun, adult, human, female. Okay? The, the guy who's arguing with her on the telly in a minute is saying that, the intent behind it is to attack the trans community. Okay. This is a problem I have, all right, with trans activism and this whole trans agenda that's going on, okay? The problem with, the, with it is that these trans activists and these trans women feel that if women are asserting their identity as women, that takes away from their identity as trans women because they want to be women and they're kind of forcing women to having to redefine themselves they're, they're, that's what that's what's happening it's like this woman kelly has put this up saying look i'm a woman we are women the meaning of the word women woman is this okay and 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 this is what's happening at the minute this this poster was taken down this poster was taken down. Okay, you've had 
for years women arguing about women only spaces and we've we've got you know these these women's refuges and stuff which are now it's been spoken about that you're gonna ha possibly have transgender women i.e men in these women only refuges okay <clears throat> what the fuck is going on all right who are the characters pushing this and fucking why all right now <clears throat> this lady posy parker is one of quite a few women online who are feminists and who basically don't want the definition of women to be erased that is what they are saying that this is doing when we're talking about people being able to self-identify and turn around and say i'm a woman it doesn't make you a woman because a woman is an adult human female whereas when we talk about women man and woman we're talking about males females and the, the, the whole language is being changed we're having to change the language you know and <sighs> ridiculous things like you know lesbians with a penis and things like that these things are this is not real this is not real okay this is not real and there's a few women fighting this and this is why i'm doing this video I've seen this stuff going on for years, but recently, the last month or so, there's been a lot of shit going on, and there's a lot of these trans activists in politics. There's a lot of these trans activists in politics advising on policy, dealing with these big associations like the Girl Guides and people like that advising on transgender issues. And we're talking about the tiniest proportion of our society. OK, and I'm going to argue as well that transgenderism is, you know, this gender dysphoria or whatever is, you know, the, 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 the cure or the, the what will help the ailment is not transitioning to the other sex. Because this is another argument with these fucking trans activists where they say that gender is something that you learn. So why change your biology then? It's clearly a biological thing. Clearly a biological thing. The two go hand in hand and it's very rare that they don't. We're talking 99.9% .9 of times. Okay. So what we're going to say now, like we can't say that humans have 10 fingers because some people have nine fingers. Because they might have lost one in an accident. And there's probably quite a few people around the world with nine fingers. So should we say we're not allowed, that's offensive, to say that human beings have ten fingers is offensive to the people that have nine fingers. No, it's not. It's fucking ridiculous. Then people with nine fingers know, boy, I lost a finger, that's why I got nine fingers. Okay? And these transgender women, i.e. men, need to understand that, look, you're not a woman, you're a transgender woman. It's something different. Okay? It's something different. And we need to find the language you know, and we're, we're not talking about being nasty, but we're talking about being real. We're talking about truth. We're talking about, you know, if we talk about feminism and wanting equality and that, you know, this whole transgender activism movement is is fucking misogynistic, man. It's misogynistic. It's anti-women. It's saying to women, you cannot have these women only spaces because we want in them. And we are men. We have penises. But you can't say that because we identify as women. And we're, going, we're pushing this agenda that anyone can do that. Okay? And these are the women that are fighting it. So big up yourself, Posey, yeah? Big up yourself. Um, there's also other people here. Uh, this is the tweet, a tweet about um, the Sky thing, which I'm going to show a little thing. And this geezer's a dickhead. Uh, this geezer's a proper dickhead. He says something that is so fucking ridiculous. When he's talking about, I'm going to play it anyway, but it's like, he said something about transgender women and that. And oh, you turn around and you go, women go through that. What are you talking about? Like, you're talking, you know, acting as if it's only transgender women that have to deal with being judged on their body shape and things like this. It's like, you're a fucking dickhead, bro. And it, this is the thing. This, it, this whole agenda is being pushed by men. Okay? And it's misogynistic. Okay? I'm going to show you this video. So, so you've got Posey Parker and that on this thing. 
Um, you've also got um, a lady called Magdalene Burns, who I've watched quite a few of her videos. Very entertaining, funny, to the point, real. You know, she's a lesbian saying that the, the trans activist community are basically insane um, and she breaks down in the videos you know she when she 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 goes through them and, and some of the stuff being said is is ridiculous you know it's ridiculous it's um you know watch some of her videos Magdalene Burns watch some of her videos she's got a videos talking about this uh, Riley J Dennis character this video here Um, it's about you know genital preferences transphobic you know so saying lesbians are transphobic because they won't sleep with trans women who are actually men um, you know and it's it, it, she pushes about you know this is rape culture you know just because people don't want to sleep with you you can't force it on people you know no one likes sexual rejection but the fact is you can't force people to sleep with you you can't it's crazy so watch some of these videos from um, Magdalene Burns um, Posey Parker's got a few videos um, there's this other lady here as well um, this is an interesting uh, video um, Edge of Reason she's got some really really good videos really interesting really insightful um, talking about the erasure of women, self-identification, the whole girl guides thing is how I found her videos. Um, and she talks about in this video, um, Helen Watts, who was the safeguarding person for the girl guides, has been sacked or let go or whatever, or has left or whatnot. Excuse me, drinking quite a lot of tea this evening. Quite thirsty. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, so this lady Helen Watts was the safeguarding person for the Girl Guides. Um, she's basically not there anymore. And the Girl Guides now have a panel uh, advising them about transgender issues. Now, this lady here, Edge of Reason, talks about look, the Girl Guides are one of these bodies that has to abide by these safeguarding guidelines and by not informing parents that there are boys biological boys on the trip or whatnot if they're on the girl guide trip and they've got transgender girls i.e boys biological males um on the trip and they're not telling the parents you know this is uh, for want of a better word problematic um so this is a really interesting video um, she goes really into to depth about lots of other stuff in her other videos as well. Um, but she goes into a few of these characters that are advising the girl guides. All right. um, and a few of these characters are people like... Um, let's have a look. Sean Fay. Now... Yeah. As, as as I as I'm going through this video, yeah, I might pause sometimes because I I have to think, and this is this is the thing we have to even think about the language we're using to discuss this whole thing because it's so strange and the logic is just non-existent. So you've got you know international you know making women making history you know this uh sean fay a transgender woman i.e a man is going to be talking there and some people have taken offense to that basically saying look you know she's not a woman who is any kind of role model um you know saying to kids that are following her be sluttier than you are while you can you know get tits early and suck dick and things like this you know and also tweeted to a biological woman, enjoy your erasure. And this is the, this is the this is the agenda. This is the thing. By by erasing what it means to be a woman, they are taking away the language that women 
have to differentiate themselves from the the the, the this masculine this male ruled world you know they're, they're taking away the language to say i am a woman because they're trying to change what it means what what is you cannot just say that your definition of a woman is whoever feels like a woman what is it like to feel like a woman okay it's not a feeling okay it's an it's a being all right it's it, it's a it, it, uh, it's, like I say, it, it <coughs> drives me crazy. This is why I've put off doing a video like this because it's gonna fucking offend people. Because fucking in in times of tyranny, speaking the truth is a revolutionary act. We have heard that many times, and we are in a time of fucking madness, man. You know where we have got people like. Um, Pippa Bunce, Philip Bunce, a geezer that turns up once a week or whatever. He's a transvestite. He's not a transsexual. He's a transvestite. Let's be honest, yeah? He dresses up in women's clothes once a week and turns up to work. And he's been... He was uh, put forward for like top 100 business women of the year or something. You know? Um, this whole... Again, we're talking. We're, I'm going to talk about gender roles because the, the trans trans activists are saying they're smashing gender roles, but they're not. They're not smashing gender roles. They're playing into them even more. They're saying that if a man isn't masculine, he has to be a girl. You know, it's like, and when they are women, and you know, they they they, it's all these like cartoony traits of women. You know the. The, way, the, the clothes, the makeup, you know, the, the on the surface things, the shallowness of being a woman. It's not being a woman. And it's like mockery. You know, that's all I can say. It's just like mo mocking women a lot of the time. You know, pretending to, you know, thinking that you know about that experience. Okay? And this is the madness that's going on. Let me tell you something, yeah? I've got a mate, a lesbian mate, all right? And today on Facebook, I've seen a... And and she's she's a feminist woman. She's a feminist lesbian. You know what I mean. She's very pro women's rights, women's only spaces, and things like that. You know what I mean. And big her up. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to say her name, but she's 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 a good girl, yeah. And and she's posted something up today that I whether either she doesn't know who this person is, and maybe she does, but it was this tweet, and she's put it on Facebook. From this person, Danielle Moscato. Okay, and I'll show you who Danielle Moscato is in a minute. Okay, and who, <laughs> what she, uh, what she's talking about. All right, ladies, a question for you: What would you do if all men had to? So, so she basically, you can. T she's a lady. She's called Danielle. Okay, no picture of her face, just a T-shirt that says Black Lives Matter. We'll get to that. What would you do if all men had a 9 p.m. curfew? Dudes, read the replies and pay attention. Okay, this is she's a transgender woman, Danielle Moscato is, and my friend, um, lesbian feminist, posted up someone who'd posted this up, and I agree. Okay. I agree that women probably do feel intimidated in a world, um, you know, where they can't walk around at night time because they feel they may be attacked. But I also know that men probably feel like they're going to be attacked sometimes. And I, you know, probably take a different way on rather than go a certain other way because we're not all fucking, we're not all massive hench dudes that can just fight off any motherfucker that's going to come and attack us. You know what I mean? I'm a skinny brat. You know what I mean? So if some massive dude comes, you know, fuck, I'm going to be shitting myself. You know, so, like I say, I agree that women probably are, you know, terrified because of the physical differences between men and women. All right. And this is Danielle Moscato putting this up. All right. Saying, ladies, a question for you. What would you do if all men had a 9 p.m. curfew? Dudes, read the replies. Then all these women... <clears throat> We're on here saying, um, you know, I'd go out walking, I'd go and do this, I'd go and do that. You know what I say? I say, 
What happens at 9 p.m. at this curfew to Danielle? Where, where does, where does, what does Danielle do? Does Danielle go for a little walk as well? Or, or, or is she under curfew? Because this is Danielle. This is Danielle. So do you think all those women who want to feel really safe at 9 p.m. would feel safe with Danielle walking around with them? Do you think? I'm not sure. All right. And this is what I'm, 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 I'm seeing. The fucking even on, on a... On, on the surface of it, it looks ridiculous, you know, how people can kind of say these things and, and, and have these opinions about some kind of alarm going off in their brain, just saying, look, this is fucking ridiculous, all right? You can't have women-only spaces if you're allowing trans women who are biological men with penises into that space, because... The term woman is for a biological woman. So if you're letting trans men into those, trans women into them spaces, it's no longer a woman only space. All right. And this is a person, this is one of the people pushing, 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 pushing with tweets like this as well, trying to get women on their side. Okay. Come on, girls. I'm, I'm with you. But then what, what are these, what, what, what do these women, what would they feel like? Would they feel safe? Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. But what we're talking about is all women's space and it wouldn't be an all women's space anymore. And, you know, he says things like this. If you think I'm less of a woman or not a woman because I don't fit your mental picture of what a woman should look like or what body parts a woman should or shouldn't have, newsflash, your mental description of women is not only inaccurately narrow but anti-feminist and bigoted as well. Okay. It's not about less or more of a woman, okay? This is the thing. It's not about less or more. It's is or isn't. It's not someone's more of a woman or less than a woman. You're either a woman or you ain't. And this is the thing. It's not a fucking spectrum. Everything now is a fucking spectrum. There's no black and white. There's no this and that. It's a fuck. Everything's a fucking spectrum. This is not a spectrum. It's not a less of a woman, more of a woman. It's either you are one or you ain't. So, <clears throat> this is one of these characters as well. Um, but in this video, um, Edge of Reason talks about the people that are advising the girl guides, all right? And one of them was this, Sean Fay, all right? So, it's a transsexual woman, i.e. a man, um, you know, overly sexual, um, not really a role model for kids, but... Um, you know, it's it's this thing where the the erasure of biological women, and we're going to get onto this, okay? Now, this Sean Fay is apparently one of the people that is advising uh, the girl guides. Um, the Pippa Bunts was one of them women. There's also the John Ozimek, um, who. <laughs> Have a look into that guy. Um, in the video, um, <clears throat> Edge of Reason talks about him a little bit as well. And in, in, you've got people like Amy Challoner, who we're going to get into as well, who's been working with the Green Party, who's been advising them. These people are in politics, okay? Like this um, Munro Bergdorf. Now, I can't stand this person. I cannot stand this person. I just look at them, and I just want to slap them upside their head, man. Just the arrogance pouring from this person, okay? Just the pure arrogance, okay? But this is what got me, okay? Yeah, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be offensive, but I don't want to say she, you know what I mean? But she's um getting ready for a woman's march in London. The sisterhood needs you. Okay. I also want to stress that if you do attend, it is crucial that you do with an intersectional mindset. Centering reproductive systems at the heart of these demonstrations is reductive and exclusionary. Read that once again. 
a biological man going on a woman's march saying this woman's march is not about women with wombs. This is about people like me too. Basically not even about people like me too. It's basically we're taking over this shit. So we are not going to have these women's reproductive systems as a centerpiece for these women's rights things. You know. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Listen my love. Monroe Bergdorf. Women are not um, discriminated against because of their ideas in their heads of what it's like to be a woman. They are discriminated discriminated against because of their biology. All right. So the reason for this march is because the women being discriminated against because of their biology so the march is absolutely about the biology you fucking idiot yeah this this is ridiculous the whole reason for the march is because the biology of these women has caused them to be disenfranchised and uh discriminated against okay for fuck's sake mate it's getting ridiculous all right so we've got these characters here Okay, she wants you to keep your vagina out of feminism. <laughs> you can't make it up, mate. You can't. It's, it's, it's beyond ridiculous. Okay, so you've got these people that are pushing this agenda. Okay, and and are pushing to erase these female-only spaces. All right, so we've got Monroe Bergdorf. We've got Pippa Bunce being pushed for this thing. This all-female top 100 business women also advising the girl guides. <clears throat> And we've got Amy Challoner. Now, Amy Challoner was working with the Green Party. This is a fucking nefarious character, by the way. Okay, this is someone all out on their own. And this whole family is way out there on their own. So, you've got these activists that are fucking trying to erase what it is to be a woman. And and including biological men in these all-women spaces. And then you've got someone like this Amy Challoner, who's been working with the Green Party... Um, and she is a trans woman, a biological man, because let's not forget as well, a huge percentage of biological women never get rid of their penis. Never. They'll just, they keep it all forever. Okay. They, the, the, the large majority, we're talking high 80%, more than that probably. All right. A huge, huge amount. Um, keep their penises so we're talking about biological men here okay that are telling women that they cannot have women only spaces and they must have access to them now that is male privilege if ever I see it that is misogyny if ever I see it we we can't speak up about them things even as a man I can't speak up about that shit because I'm called transphobic if I do so I can't support women because other men are calling me transphobic because they feel like it because they feel like a woman so therefore they're allowed in these all women spaces so anyway you've got this amy challoner who was working with a green party was a transgender activist is a transgender activist was getting pushed on tv all the time in all these interviews and all that okay and was pushing for a leadership position in the green party okay now amy challoner along with her dad David Challoner created something that was called turf blocker. Now, turf is a term used to describe trans exclusionary radical feminists is the term. And it's a term used to describe women, lesbians, but, you know, just women in general who don't subscribe to the thing that trans women are real women. <clears throat> they are called turfs and they are attacked. They are <coughs> On the internet, they are abused on the internet. Um, and Amy Challoner and her dad, David Challoner, let's not forget that fella because he's coming up in a minute, um, created this this app called uh, Turf Blocker, which added 50,000 women to this list. Um, you know that would block these turfs or these feminists who don't agree with the transgender. Um, thing that you can assign your own gender to yourself Um, and the thing is the problem is 
the man who helped create this with Amy, her dad, is a paedophile rapist. Okay? And they're working, like I say, this is the whole issue. They're working to eliminate the safeguarding in organisations like the Girl Guides, when, when men can identify as women and have access to all women safe spaces. All right? So David Chandler with Amy Chandler created this turf blocker thing. Okay? And David Chandler is a fucking pedo. Um, <clears throat> inside his grotty torture den. In, in the loft of their house, where Amy lived with him, on and off, I may add, because uh, social services took the kids away on numerous occasions, and even Amy says she didn't live with her parents at the house the whole time. So that's another story in itself. <clears throat> anyway, this is the guy that created Turf Blocker. Okay, 10-year-old girl up in the attic, Tied her up to beams, whipped her, tortured her, electrocuted her. Okay. Fucking Tommy Hill hat, Tommy Cooper up there. Yeah. You know, had all of this fucking equipment. You know, ropes. This guy whips. This guy was fucking doing this on the wrecks. Okay. You telling me that his daughter, or then son, didn't see this going on? Apparently the house, they were hoarders, it was full of stuff. There's no way that he would have been able to be taking children up there and no one else know about it. Okay? This is the, the man that created Turf Blocker. And if you look at the fucking details to this thing, it's disgusting. Look at this. Ten-year-old girl, okay? He would dress up as a small girl in an adult-sized baby dresses and nappies before carrying out these attacks. Okay? Now, this he's been jailed for 22 years for this one case of this one 10-year-old girl. Okay? And Amy Challenger made a statement because, basically, she made him... He was, he was arrested and waiting to be charged, and she made him the head of her campaign. Saying she didn't know. She fucking knew. Of course she knew. He'd just been in court, and he was waiting to be sentenced. Okay? And another big thing in her... In her when she's talking about her dad's actions. Now, bear in mind he's been done for one ten-year-old. She talks about, um, you know, the impact, you know, talking about her father's despicable behaviour. The family and survivors of my father's criminal behaviour. Okay? Survivors. This is a case of one ten-year-old girl he's got 22 years for. So even Amy in this statement is saying, look, there's more. There's more. There's survivors. Okay? The survivors is down here as well. Okay? She didn't go into the attic during her adult life. It was dad's space. Yes, it fucking was. Survivors. Okay? My thoughts are firmly with the survivors of my father's abhorrent behaviour, including young women, plural, whose lives, plural, will be impacted forever. The with all survivors of my father's actions. I stand in solidarity. What do you know, Amy? Why are you not going to the police and saying it weren't just this one? Okay, you know there was more. You know there was more. You should be going to the fucking police, mate. Okay? So, this is the guy that made this turf blocker. Okay? And what is a turf, I hear you ask? Trans exclusionary radical feminist, but what does it mean? It's a term that trans activists and some of the trans community. This is turf as a slur. It's a website that I found just looking at this shit. And basically, what I'm seeing is trans women, men, attacking lesbians because lesbians are saying we don't like penises and we don't we we like women and we want to sleep with women we don't want to sleep with trans women okay and they they're, they're calling them turfs and saying they're going to attack and punch them and they call it the cotton ceiling like the glass ceiling for women in jobs and shit like this they're calling it the cotton ceiling to imply that there is only a certain way trans women can get sexually and like I said, no one likes to be excluded sexually and no one likes to be turned down. Sexual exclusion 
you know, fuck's sake, you, come on, it's like, he's, it, well, you, there's, oh, it's like these incels, I, I'm not really massively into the term or what really it means, but I've got a rough idea, you know, it's these, they, they, they're deciding to be celibate, or no, they're not deciding to be celibate, but they just can't have sex with no one, you know, it's like this kind of, make people feel guilty for not having sex with them, it's like it's fucking rape culture, you're trying to force sex upon people that don't want to have sex with you, for fuck's sake, okay, and this is stuff going on, you know, the cotton scene was definitely in effect tonight, kind of really sucks, you know, it's like, well, so you, we tried to have sex with someone and they didn't want to have sex with you, yes, it does suck, it is shit, and you're not the only person it's happened to ever, okay, look at this as well, okay, penises are female if they belong to a female, okay, lesbians are attracted to women, being attracted to genitals is a fetish, come on, come on, when we're talking about sexuality, we are boiling it down to genitals, Okay, when you want to have sex with someone, you want to have sex with the genitals, as well as, obviously, you know, other aspects that come with those genitals. You know, but penises are not associated with females. You fucking idiot. So penises are not female if they belong to a female, because females don't have penises. You're nuts. You're nuts. Like this person, you are nuts. Okay. And this is the stuff we're seeing. But this is, I mean, this is this is the cotton ceiling, and this is what a lot of lesbians are talking about. That they're coming, they're coming face to face with these trans women, and they're seeing male pattern aggressive behaviour, sexual aggression, and aggressive behaviour towards women. Okay. And this is more proof of stuff that is seen online attacking turfs you know this is real all right and as a <laughs> as a cisgender male um you know this ain't my world but it is my world because women are being being erased being erased think about that what it is, what is meant to, what is a woman is being erased, okay, when you've, when we've got people saying phrases like, a penis is female if it belongs to a female, I mean, what can you say, okay, we're living in crazy times, and, you know, this is some of the, the the aggression that we're seeing from numbers from this community and activists definitely from this community. This is what we're seeing, this sexual violence, you know, this male aggression, this male aggressive behaviour. Turfs can choke on my girl dick, you know. A lot of stuff talking about I'm going to choke you on my fucking girl cock. Okay? Enjoy my lady dick in your mouth, cunt wipe. You know, this is sexual violence, this male pattern sexual aggression. Okay? Is it any wonder that, 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 that some women don't want individuals like this in their all women spaces? When they're going to try and force themselves upon them? When they say, look. I'm a lesbian too, and these lesbians are turning around to them saying, no, you're not a lesbian, you have a penis, I don't want to sleep with you, and then they're turning around and being called transphobic, okay, this is madness, madness, okay, just showing you this shit, okay, these are men, these are the, and most of these are men, biological men saying they want to punch women in the face, fuck them up, kill them, make them choke on their chick dick, 
Okay. This is this is what is happening, and people don't really know about it. A lot of people don't really know that this is going on, but it's slowly creeping into the mainstream. What is happening? All right. Because when we've got these interviews that are going on, um, on Sky. Now, this uh, this geezer says something here, yeah. That is, he's talking about women, okay. And I'm surprised that Posey didn't turn around and go, everything you've just said is exactly what women have to go through all the time, and you're trying to take away our identity. To, to push this other identity. Okay, listen to this. For transgender people who are living and working in Liverpool, it is a reminder to them that they are under such immense public scrutiny for every single aspect of their identity, their behaviour, their body shape, their appearance. And that campaign is led by this woman, Miss Keen Minshall, a.k.a. Posey Parker. And Let's that's the reason why it should have been taken down. Let's get a response. This, this geezer's a dickhead, mate. This geezer's a fucking dickhead, yeah? And I ain't got no problem saying that. You're a fucking idiot, mate, okay? I have no doubt that you are probably homosexual, um, so you don't really like women that much. But the fact is, you've got to just open your fucking eyes, mate. You're supposed to be, you say you're a doctor. You're, you're a doctor, yeah? So you know the biological differences between male and female. But you're arguing that the, the definition of woman on a poster is offensive to trans people. You're a fucking fool. Okay? Simple as that. Big up Posey again, Kelly. Big up yourself. So this is what we're talking about, okay? And we're talking about these female-only spaces. They're going to be invaded. Okay? You know, these female-only refuge centres. And they get, you know, these women could be, some of these women have gone through fucking horrendous things at the hand of, of males. And even the, 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 you know, the thought of being under the same roof, these people have run away from abusive homes where they don't want to be anywhere near anything male. You know, the woman only spaces. You know, who are we going to, again, this is the misogyny. Fuck the thoughts and the feelings of women, and over those, they're putting the 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 thoughts and the ideals of men over what women need and want. And this is exactly what's fucking going on. And this is exactly why I've done this video because the whole thing is fucking mental, mate. We've got it all over the shop. Okay, so we've got these people advising government, and you know you know, trying to implement policy and change, you know, bring in these, bring in the changes to the Gender Recognition Act, which they're, they're, they're looking at, you know, and it will be the erasure of what we know as women. It will mean that there are no more women-only spaces. It means that women have lost the language to differentiate themselves from anyone, um, you know, and women have been fighting for these rights because misogyny is a real thing and men are cunts yeah with you know the, the the power system you know and the and the and the culture the laddish culture and all that kind of stuff men are cunts in general because you know i see myself as a conscious man you know i, I raise my son to be respectful um you know, and a lot of people are not raising their sons to be respectful. They're raising their sons to be like, oh, fucking, look at that bird there and rare, rare, rare and all them things there. So that old mentality, that old, you know, fucking Donald Trump grabbing by the pussy mentality. Um, you know, women have been fighting against that and we're, we're finally getting to a point where we're not really even getting to a point because that even if you watch my video on the U2, Me Too movement um, and how it was used to cover child abuse, it's got nothing to do with fucking protecting women or helping women. That, that, that culture in Hollywood of the casting couch and thing like that was going on. You know, it was, it, that, that was used 
and the whole fucking Asia Argento fucking shit, man. Um, it was just used as a cover. Um, you know, so women are still fighting this shit today, and now we're at a point now where we've got men who are wanting to self-determine themselves as women and, and, and completely erase what it means to be a woman. And this is why I had to do this video, because it's getting to the point now where the ridiculous ridiculousness levels are through the fucking roof. Um, these women need our support. Um, Posey Parker, um, you know, support her. Uh, add her on here and check what's going on. Um, also, Edge of Reason, um, Magdalene Burns, check her stuff out. Um, these are all women that are just here trying to... Um, you know, keep keep the definition of what it is to be a woman, and they're not buying into this madness. And, um, you know, we shouldn't buy into the madness either. So we're going to end on that. Stop the madness, okay? And just, let's just think, okay? Think. So I am the Diligent Rascal. Check me out on Twitter at a Diligent Rascal. As I keep saying, if everyone on YouTube would go over to Twitter and add me on there, we'd have to we'd be able to have a bit more of a conversation on there. Um, I don't mind doing the chat in the YouTube; it's fine. Uh, but it would be nice to get on Twitter and that and get at a load of you on there. So again, it is Monday, the first of October, 2018. I am the Diligent Rascal. Thank you for joining me once again. Catch up with you soon. Peace.